Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Tao and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the Structural Settings command within Revit 2016. Here I am in a Revit Standard Structural Project, Manage tab of the ribbon, Settings panel, Structural Settings command. Click this, it opens up the window, and the way this is set up is it has tabs, and in each of the tabs there is data that you can set. Um, the purpose of the Structural Settings panel uh, and window is for you to set everything that you want in a structural project as a default. So for example, a symbolic representation of things like the bracing symbols, they can be parallel lines, they can, have, they can be lines with angles. Um, you can say show the bracing above and or below or not show them at all. And what symbol you're working with. You have symbolic cutback distances as well for braces, beam trusses, and columns. You also have connection symbols for beams and braces, column bases, and column tops and what the connection type is going to be and the annotation symbol itself is going to be. You can also create new ones if you need to as well. The load cases tab allows you to look at all the different load cases that are in the project. By default you will have dead load, live load, window load, snow load, uh, live roof load, accidental load, temperature load, and seismic load, and what their load natures are, their descriptive information. You can obviously add, delete, the for load cases and for load natures. Load combinations are where you have the ability to specify multiple loads together to create formulas and set up uh, special cases or special combination of loads. Analytical model settings really particularly deal with the analytical model which we take for granted actually. When you're building in Revit you're not just building the 3D model design intent uh, physical model, but you're also building the analytical structural model uh, by default. And you have the ability to automatically check member supports and model consistencies while you're designing. This will slow down the machine. Um, that's why it's not checked by default. You have tolerances that you can, you can specify for support distance, for physical model distance, analytical, things like that. Boundary conditions, you also have the ability to specify things like what's the fixed boundary condition family symbol that's being used, the pinned, the roller, and the variable. If you are a BIM manager and you're working with Revit, it is advised that you look at this window and make all of your setting changes that you want first and save that as part of your template file. Once you've done this, any time somebody needs to create a new Revit project based upon the template file, these settings are already established and you don't have to worry about them again uh, unless you decide to make some kind of change, uh, firm-wide change. All right? And so that's it. That's the structural settings command within Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.